Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Pinot Noir we get from Rotor. Rotor Estate is a French uh, champagne house that set up in the Anderson Valley in the early 1990s. They built a winemaking facility over there and planted a lot of vineyards. And they wanted to, to they didn't want, they wanted to not disturb the Anderson Valley, so they wanted to plant all of their own grapes. And when they planted the Pinot Noir, these were mostly hillside grapes, and they were expecting to get about three tons an acre. And it turned out with modern trellising that they were getting good quality grapes at the rate of six to eight tons an acre, so they ended up with a lot of extra Pinot Noir, and we started buying it from them in uh, 1994. And Joe's brought forward uh, two samples. One is a uh, 2013, that was what we distilled last year, and a some that we distilled our earliest distillations in 1994. And you can see from the color that the 2013 has been put into a new oak barrel uh, and it has since been moved. It's still at about uh, pretty close to 70 percent alcohol. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I get from this is um, mostly oak, but an, an amazing amount of sort of like fresh, what you say, bell pepper. and. Um, um, it's funny to say bell pepper, say this is going to turn into brandy. No, that changes quite a bit over time. And then um, it's, and even though it's at 70%, um, you can inhale about deep as you You get no burn in your nose whatsoever. You, you have no sense of the strong alcohol. You really have to taste it to get that strong alcohol. And it already has this uh, incredible length. You smell it into your nose and it just lasts and lasts and lasts. 94 uh, has spent all of its time in, um, in used barrels. So there's not that much difference in color. But um, ah, it's just, this is such an amazing product. This is, this is really consistently our, um, our, our best brandy year to year. And it just has this incredible length and softness. That's what I get. I mean, this marriage of intensity and softness that's so Pinot Noir, right? It's got this feminine aspect to it, which is sort of like this round, sensuous quality. But it also has this focused intensity that just, um, and you, you, when you inhale it into your nose, it just lasts forever. And that's, you know, that shows up. That's the same quality. that shows up in this finish, you get this long, persistent back of your mouth finish. It's just, um, that's fabulously, and even though this is this is somewhere around what, Joe? This one is still at around 50%, 51%. Okay. So it's, it's on its way down. But that's naturally without water added. It's this barrel, this barrel, is barrel strength proof, at yeah, this point. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's maybe a little too intense in your mouth from the high alcohol, mm -hmm. but, it's, but you, don't, you don't taste the alcohol, you just get this focused, um, beautiful, smooth, ch dark cherry prune quality to it that just lasts and lasts and lasts. We love this stuff, and uh, it's always tempting to not use it, right? Let's just keep, keep this away. a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Keep it a little longer. bit longer, yeah. and then we get. That's how we get to have 30 and 35 year old brandies. But uh, okay, that's Pinot Noir.